Bob. All right. I'm Bob Marliani, the manager of the ECHN Sleep Disorder Center at Manchester Memorial Hospital. I've been a respiratory therapist here at the hospital for over 20 years and the manager of the sleep center for just under two. And I also wanted to mention that when I came from the respiratory care center to sleep, I had assumed that all the people were tested by this time and there weren't many left. And it's amazing how incredibly wrong I was. I've, there are many, many people who are still yet to be tested for serious sleep disorders. Usually we want people to be sleeping anywhere from seven to nine hours per night. And there are many conditions that can disturb that. Uh, there are 81 recognized sleep disorders by the American Academy of Sleep Medicine. And believe it or not, to this date, there are still approximately 70 million people in the United States who have sleep disorders. What most people don't realize is that untreated sleep disorders can negatively impact your health, your work, potentially your relationships with your spouse or a significant other, and your overall health. Examples of the more common sleep disorders are obstructive sleep apnea, which is a partial but temporary closure of your breathing passages, central sleep apnea, where the brain forgets to send the signal to breathe, restless leg syndrome, which is a twitching and an uncomfortable sensation in the legs, periodic limb movements, where there's actual movements of the limbs which awaken you, and insomnia, which is the inability to fall asleep or to stay asleep. Some common symptoms of sleep disorders that people may not realize that they have are snoring, pauses in breathing, daytime drowsiness, waking up not feeling refreshed, or waking up frequently during the middle of the night, and unpleasant sensations in the legs. Some health risks associated with untreated sleep disorders are heart attack, heart rhythm disturbances, congestive heart failure, stroke, depression, and the impaired memory and thinking and your, possibly your impaired ability to drive. When you come to the ECHN Sleep Disorder Center, you'll find a quiet home-like atmosphere. You'll be able to sit and read, watch television, or work on your computer before you go to bed for the night. Our technologists will monitor your brain waves, oxygen, heart rhythm, and your breathing and collect all that data during the course of the night. And in the morning, the test will be concluded and you'll be able to go to directly to work or to home and the data that was collected overnight will be analyzed. After the test is concluded and all the data is analyzed, the information is provided to your physician to determine if you need further treatment. One of the unique features of the center is the ability to test according to your sleep-wake cycle, not our lab schedule. Many labs test only from 7 p.m. till 7 a.m. However, if you're a second shift and get off at 11.30 p.m. and don't, wake up, don't go to sleep until 2 a.m., we will accommodate you. If you're a third shift person and don't get off work till 7, don't go to bed till 9 a.m., you can come in and sleep during the day. This will enable you to get the most accurate and reliable test results possible. We work closely with Sleep Medicine Associates, whose practice is devoted exclusively to sleep disorders. This gives you more options for treatment of potentially serious conditions that affect your sleep. If you or your loved one are not getting a good night's sleep, check with your doctor about treating a potential sleep disorder before it could turn into something more serious.